Next week is American Business Women's Day, and the National Association of Women Business Owners estimates that more than 11.5 million firms are owned by women. A Chicago area woman founded, owned, owned, founded a gluten free tequila company and uses her business to inspire other women. So it's called Inspiro Tequila, and Inspiro Tequila founder Mara Smith is here to talk more about her story. Mara, Mara thank you so much for being with us this morning. Nice to be here. All right, well, wait to, so first of all, what made you decide to start a tequila brand? Yeah, well, I'm a tequila drinker. I became a tequila drinker years ago when I was just looking for a clean spirit option that kind of fit into my active gluten-free lifestyle. Um, I started doing a lot of research um, on the category and a lot of brands and doing a lot of taste testing and discovered that many tequila brands actually use additives in their tequila, things like glycerin, flavoring, coloring. Um, and I thought, well, here I'm trying to drink this because I want this like clean spirit, so um, I don't want additives. I right. searched for a brand uh, that was additive-free and had a look, taste, and aroma that appealed to me and thoughtful female consumers like me who care about what we eat and drink and the brands we support. And I just didn't find it, so I decided to create my own. Um, and I also really recognized an opportunity to bring another female perspective to an industry that's very male-dominated. So. Uh, we do that by having women involved in every part of our process from our legendary master distiller in Mexico all the way to the women responsible for uh, operations, sales and marketing. We are distilled, owned and led by women. And I want to ask you more about the brand itself in a second, but as a female business owner, what do you think, what kind of different perspective do you think a woman brings particularly to this industry than perhaps male owners can? Yes, well one, I think uh, we're best equipped to um, really focus on this female consumer that we're focused on. So I think who better to address her and know how she wants to be um, spoken to um, and what resonates with her than, you know, I am that consumer. So I think we're the best people to speak to, to this overlooked consumer in the market in general. Um, I think everything from, you know, marketing positioning, we don't use, you know, scantily clad women in dark club scenes because that didn't resonate with me. Um, for even our bottle design, I wanted something that I would like to display on my back bar. You see the bottle in front of you, you know, um, I wanted something that was really sleek and sophisticated and, um, and also easy to hold and pour for but, someone's smaller hands. Well, we like, we like all of those things. So what makes Inspiro Tequila different from some of the other brands out there on the market? Um, well, one, we are confirmed additive free and um, only about 10% of tequila brands are actually confirmed additive free that we're not using anything um, besides 100% agave. Um, also, our Blanco tequila is a twist on a typical Blanco. It is a, a very easy to drink sippable Blanco tequila. And that is because we rest it in oak barrels for a really short period of time. Um, it's meticulously crafted. So everything from selecting the agave that's going to be harvested to the cooking methodology. We have our own recipe for that. But uh, what makes it really easy to drink is that we actually rest it in barrels um, for a short period of time. And it brings out these sweeter tasting notes, caramel, vanilla, some citrus and mint, um, and very little bite on the back end. And then we have one other expression, our Rosa Reposado, which is brand new. And it is the first and only tequila that's been aged in rosé wine barrels. Wonderful. So you get this really beautiful rose gold hue, um, and that's done without any coloring, but just based on the um, rosé wine barrel, and it's finished in Pinot Noir barrel. So Fantastic. Really All right, Mara, well, you, were, you were nice enough to send us a bottle of your Blanco, so Mark and I are going to give it a test. You. you said it's supposed to be a sippable tequila. Ready? Mm. I'm going to have a little sip here on a Sunday morning. Oh, it smells okay. good. It smells very good. Tequila time. There you go. It is that is really nice. All right. Thank you so much, Mara, for being with us. And you have more about Mara Smith and in Spirit Tequila on our store on our website, rather, abc7chicago.com. You can check it out on our free news app. We'll be right back.